Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I want to do something for Halloween. I want to do a, a scary faced pumpkin and I'll show you how to make that from start to finish and I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an air hardening clay or there's an oil based clay such as this which never hardens and this is the one I used to use all the time as a kid. You know when I get bored with things then I just roll them up and so it never hardened. There's an air hardening clay, such as this, which hardens in a couple of hours or overnight. And, you know, if it hardens, you can paint it, and it's permanent. My preference for the clay is usually super sculpy, which is uh, you can bake in the oven about 275 degrees for 15 or 20 minutes. And once you do that, it becomes hard. But tonight, I want to use another version of Sculpey. It's called Sculpey 3, which is actually the colored version of this Sculpey. And what we want to do is I want to use the color orange for the pumpkin. We're going to use about six bars. There's four bars here, two bars here. We're going to be using green for the stem. I'm going to use a light green. And then I want to use, I have black here, which we'll be using for the eyes and the teeth. So I'll show you the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take, open our package here. And I'm going to roll this into a ball. What's great about this clay is it's very soft. I'm going to squish this down, as you can see right now. See how I did that? Just like that. And then I'm going to take the other two bars, which is of half a package, and we're going to put it with this. Now see this? I'm squeezing it all together. And what we're going to do is, once I do that, we're going to make it into a ball. So what I want to do is take and put it in my hand like this. See this? And we're going to make it a ball. Just like that. I want to squeeze it into more of a ball type shape. Like that. What we can do is probably put it down here and do the same thing. See that? Okay. Just like that. See? And it creates a very nice shape. See that? So now what we want to do is I want to take, and I'm going to take and kind of squeeze it between my thumb and my finger like this. We're going to flatten it out a little bit. Like that. See? And then that way, I'm going to, then I'm going to put it down on the table like this. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I want to take a sculpting tool. It's a, this tool right here, it's a tri in triangular in shape. Can you see that? I'll try to put my finger behind it. You can see a little bit of the, the head. What we're going to do is I want to make the mouth. So what I want to do is take this. I'm going to go like this. Go from that side. And then I'm going to go from the other side and we're going to create the mouth. So I just did that. I'll rotate a little bit because it might be a little hard to see it's all orange. See that? See the mouth right there? And what I might do is just to make it a little easier, I might take a little bit more. I want to make the mouth a little bit bigger. See that? It's probably a little easier to see now. Now, what we're going to do is I want to make the, the, take this piece here and I want to make the eyes. So we're going to take that and I'm just going to scoop out the eyes. And I'm going to do it right about there. So we take this and scoop. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, the eye, on this side. A little bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the nose. So I'm going to take the nose, see that? Go right in the center like that. Then come out. See that so far? 
So what we're going to do now is I want to take the black clay. And we're going to take, I'm just going to take little pieces off. I'm going to take a little piece. I'll show you. We're going to do this for the eyes. We're going to take a little piece there. I'll show you the size in a second. Let me see. I just want to make sure they're about the same size. I want to slightly bigger than the other. I'll put these in my hand so you can see them. See that size right there? Those are going to be the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I roll them into a little ball, and I'm going to put them into the eye sockets. So where I had scooped out the spot for the eyes. See that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the eye, an eye in the other one. See how that is? And then we're going to make, I'm going to put an area or a piece in for the nose. Take a little piece of clay. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to try to almost make that a triangular shape because that's like that. And I'm going to put that in there like that. See that? And then what we're going to do is, to make it a little better, I'm going to take a, a piece of this clay here so we can outline the mouth. I didn't do this on my original model, but I think it would be a good idea now. Is I'm going to take this black clay and go like this. So, see, roll it. See, I'm rolling that piece. Just like that. Just, and we'll just keep rolling it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to outline the mouth. So what I want to do is take this, place that on the outer rim or the outside of the mouth. See that? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take and put that like that. See that? And now what I want to do is I want to give them some teeth. So I'm going to take a couple of little pieces of black clay. And we're going to do is we'll roll these into little balls into our fingers. But I'm going to take, and I want to flatten this out. So what I'm going to do is try to almost make a triangular shape. See that? You, you want to make a triangle. So do that. Do that. I'll show you my hand. It will probably be a little easier to see. See how that's a, like a triangular shape? And what we're going to do is I'm going to make two other ones just like that. Take this. Flatten it out. I'm going to make that triangular shape again. So you flatten it, then you take, do the bottom, and then take your finger and thumb and make that triangular shape like that. And I'll do one more. Flatten out, then triangular shape. Like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach a tooth right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my toothpick and I want to kind of push that up against the lip. Then I'm going to get from the other side and I'm going to push that up and attach it from the other side. See how I did that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the other two teeth. Do the same thing. Push that up there. Then come in from behind and push it, attach it. 
And then we're going to take, and we're going to do the last and final tooth and put it right here. And then I'm going to go from the other side and attach it like that. So pretty cool, huh? So the next thing that I want to do is I want to make a green stem. So I'm going to take this green clay here, and I'm going to take, and take a little piece off, roll it into a ball. It's going to be about this size right here. See that? And now what I'm going to do is, is take and roll that between my finger and my thumb into the stem-like shape. See that, how I'm doing that? And it looks like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take, is I'm going to take and kind of top it off with my finger here, flatten the top out, flatten the bottom out, and I'm going to take and put the stem right here. Just like that. And I'm going to take the toothpick and kind of push it down so it, I can attach it. I'm going to go all around. Just kind of push it down a little bit so it's attached to the pumpkin. And then what we want to do is we want to make our pumpkin lines. So I'm going to take this, the toothpick, and go like this. See this? And we go all the way like that. I'm going to do the other one right here. So we did that. We're going to go all the way around. Just like that. Just takes a second. But the effect is really nice. And then we're going to There we go. See how we did that? We did it, the lines all the way around like that. And then what I want to do is take this green stem, and I want to take the toothpick and kind of scratch this surface of it to make it a little rough. I'm going to go all the way around like that. See that? Go like that. Just like that. And there is your scary-faced pumpkin. I also want to do one other thing. I do want to attach the eyebrows. I want to do the eyes a little better. I'm going to poke a hole in the eye like that. Poke a hole like that. See that how we did that? And I do want to add some eyebrows. That's going to, that'll make it even better. So we're going to take a couple of pieces of clay. I'm going to get some small pieces of clay. Put them right there. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out to a shape almost like that. And then I'm going to do is place this right up here, uh, above the eye, and slant it a little bit. See that? And I'm going to do the same thing. Roll this between my fingers. And then what we're going to do is I'll take and do the same thing over here. And then what I want to do is I want to take my toothpick and rough this up a little bit so it looks like eyebrows. Just like that. See that? And then we're going to take and do the same thing on that side. 
And now you have your scary-faced Halloween pumpkin. And I hope you enjoyed the video on the pumpkin. And I'll show you the final version will look like. See this? I did this. I didn't, in the original one, I didn't put the, the, the black lip like, like I did in that one. But I think that makes it better. It makes it much easier to see. You got the three teeth. You got the nose. You got the black eyebrows. And you can see the lines that I made as I went around the pumpkin. And that's what the final version would, would look like. If you're using the Sculpey 3 like this, just bake it in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes, and it'll be done, and you'll have your final version, and you'll have it ready for display. I do want to thank you for coming to the Creations of Clay tonight, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.